A Kentucky Fried Chicken Cake. That's what we're creating today. I'm making a bucket, you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Sylvester Stallone. Let's get started. Does this shirt look wrinkled? Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna have to edit and there's just gonna be a ton of wrinkles everywhere. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button to help show your support for the channel, as well as the notification bell so that you can see all of my videos as soon as they go up. I'm also highlighting the ASPCA. On the website, you can donate, you can volunteer, or you can just find an awesome elderly companion. Senior dog, senior cat, senior turtles, and some chickens. Now let's get into it. Hello, everybody. So here are my cakes. I'm using three chocolate cakes. The first is a six inch then I got an 8 inch and a 10 inch round cake I've got a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket as a reference am I gonna do this exactly no because I don't like the picture that they're using of this guy Colonel Sanders I think I can find a better picture of him and a more stylized picture of him or a better stylized picture of him on Google Images and so that's what I'm gonna use so it's very basic I'm ready to do this so let's start it Now the reason I decided to make a KFC bucket was because my friend asked me to create it for his birthday. He told me he would pay me $50, which is like a slap in the face to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why everyone thinks that every cake ever should just be worth $50. No matter how complex it is, they only want to give you $50 for it. But I said yes because he is my friend, it is his birthday, and I told him I would just give it to him for free as his present. I also thought it would be a really cool video to just like show you guys. But I did give him one condition and that was that I would make the bucket but not the chicken. I don't want to be working too hard on something that I didn't want to do originally. <laughs> so that's why I gave him like stipulations. <laughs> Alright so here we go. As you can see I built it upside down because I thought it would be easier to carve that way. I'm going to flip it over eventually, not right now. I didn't level my cakes completely because I was scared that I'm going to need height and I didn't know if each of the layers of cakes was going to make the structure tall enough. So that's why I just left it. There's a ton of buttercream in between each of these layers. I thought it would be better tasting. So let's start carving our bucket shape. Another reason I agreed to do this was because the shape of the bucket is like super easy. I'm basically just tapering the edges. You know, with a lot of my other cakes, there's so much more sculpting, but not here. So we got that and then we have a nice crumb coat. Alright, alright, alright. So as you can see, I built the cake upside down. I gave it a crumb coat. It is super smooth now, ready for my fondant. And I added a plate here so that when I flip it over I can actually hold it like a bucket. Not that I will because I'll be too scared to do that. Um, I was going to put fondant all the way around but I think I'm just going to panel it on the side and leave a seam at the back because there's a seam on the bucket when you buy it. So I mean it's not abnormal. It's realistic that way, right? Now I'm gonna move this off of this cake board so that there's a little room for like a lip, the lip of the bucket. Cause I wanna make sure I don't screw that up. So let's get to it. Now I know some of you might be asking, I thought you were vegan. Why are you promoting KFZ now? I used to be vegan. I was vegetarian for a while. I, I try to limit my meat as much as possible, but sometimes you just can't help it. I mean, I do still buy vegan products a lot. I even buy a lot of like vegan fake meat. Oh, because like the chicken nuggets are good. The fish fillet tastes like actual fish. And KFC is coming out with a vegan chicken line. So you can get vegan fried chicken. You can already get that in Hollywood, but this just makes it more accessible to everyone. So this is my unfinished bucket. Look at it. I'm pretty happy with it, you guys. It covered the entire cake. The seam looks pretty good too. And even if it didn't, I was gonna hide it in the back anyways. I do need to cut a straight line at the bottom and the top of the bucket, but I'm gonna place it into the fridge for a little bit so that the fondant can stiffen up and I can take a really sharp knife and just cut away a really nice edge. So back into the fridge you go. Mm -hmm. 
So I cut the edges and now I'm adding a little bit of magic sauce to the top so I can add the trim. So here it is you guys, my bucket. I'm very proud of it. Not completely straight, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So I had a little bit of problems trying to add the lip, but that's okay, it looks okay. Um, and it'll look better when I add all the other elements, so let's do that now. Now, to create the logo of this cake, I just printed it out at Baker's Bodega. I wasn't gonna waste my time on something I didn't want to do. <laughs> so instead of having to cut all of the individual features and draw Colonel Sanders' head, I just went to Baker's Bodega, my favorite place in the world, printed out the logo, printed out the sign, and just cut it all out to place it onto my KFC bucket. Now there aren't many details on this cake. The only thing I needed to place on before the logo and the lettering are just strips of red fondant to create the red stripes on the KFC bucket. So I'm adding two short strips to the front, two very long strips to the back, and then adding all of the Kentucky Fried Chicken lettering that goes on the front. Something I thought was interesting about KFC was that they used to just put KFC on the box and not write out Kentucky Fried Chicken because they didn't want people to say the word fried. But I mean, everybody knows what you're selling. It's not like you're tricking anybody. So I think that's why they switched it back. After I finished that, it was just time to start adding the Kentucky Fried Chicken on top, which I think is a good idea because you got cake in the bottom and then you got like chicken, like you got actual chicken you can eat. Now don't worry, there's a piece of parchment paper on top of this so none of the chicken's actually touching the cake. And voila, my Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket was complete. I like it a lot, it looks so cool. Now one of the greatest things happened, the birthday party got canceled. <laughs> We're on coronavirus lockdown and so it was just like the greatest surprise ever. I get fried chicken and my own like giant birthday cake. This is my life in lockdown. So I end up getting to cut the cake and showing you what the inside looks like. When I realized that I could cut into the cake, I did turn one piece of cake into chicken so that it would look nice when I cut into it. So that you can actually see some chicken cake on top. But I didn't shoot the video for it because I didn't think I was gonna end up cutting into this. So I'll have to do a fried chicken video on another day. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this cake. I like making the bucket, it was super easy. And I was just very happy that I got to eat it. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more realistic cakes, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me turn into a cake. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace!